everybody what is up it's Belim welcome back to my channel hope you're all having a great day evening afternoon whatever it is where you are so this video today is a little bit of a sort of tricky topic to talk about once again had a few tricky topics lately haven't we but anyway this goes back to sort of six months ago in June that's more than six months actually isn't it yeah it is but in june of 2020 we had the lopez brothers both being called out for sexual assault claims tony was called out for apparently sexting and sending nudes to a minor and andreas was actually accused of sexual assault gross um but the thing is, I'm only talking about this because there are some beauty gurus involved. I kind of like to keep my channel more focused around beauty guru stuff rather than TikToker drama. But Nikita Dragon and James Charles are tied to this because they both made videos. Although I did upload a video at the time when Tony Lopez was accused because he was hanging around with Nikita Dragon when he was accused of the sexual assault allegations... This tweet here from Deaf Noodles actually says, Andreas Lopez's first allegations came out June 2020, Tony in August 2020. Nikita Dragon made a video with both of the Lopez brothers doing half a face each with makeup, and that video was posted a week before Andreas' allegations. James Charles then went on to do a collab with them, and that was actually two weeks after after these allegations came out. Hi dragons! What's up? It's Nikita. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a very special guest. Mm -hmm, very special. We have Antonio Lopez, Ooh. Andreas Lopez, Whoa. and together they make the Lopez, Lopez Brothers. Aside from the actual allegations themselves, the real problematic thing here is Nikita and James have both kept their videos up while these allegations have been out there about the Lopez brothers. They haven't taken the videos down or anything like that. So the problematic thing is Nikita and James have both been profiting off of those videos knowing that these allegations are out there about the Lopez brothers and they've kept it all very quiet. They haven't, you know, said anything or whatever about these allegations. But now today, they've just gone and unfollowed the Lopez brothers on Instagram. So isn't that much too little too late? After the fact, when you've had videos up profiting off of these two boys who've been under public scrutiny for disgusting allegations you've had them on your platform you've made money on videos featuring them and now it's a problem seven months down the line but you've had those videos on your platform for seven whole months so your fans your audience have been putting money in your pockets, watching those videos for the past seven months. Meanwhile, the two guys in your video have been accused of sexual assault. How's that okay? How is that allowed? Why are those two guys, Andreas, Tony, why are they allowed a platform while all of this is going on? I swear to God, some of these TikToker kids are the most problematic like influencer type people i have actually come across these are you know the allegations that come out and the things that you see them do on video like where you see them going into restaurants and being abusive to staff and throwing tables over and all this kind of stuff this breed of influencer these tiktoker kids they are something else. They are savage and the allegations that come out against them 
are disgusting. Like, it just gets worse and worse. I don't know what it is with that generation, but they'll do anything, it seems, to shock the audience. And it's really disturbing, I think. And aside from the horribleness of these allegations against Tony and Andreas, aside from that, for Nikita and James to now be getting all performative and suddenly, oh look, yeah, we're unfollowing these guys on IG now because they're problematic, when they didn't have a problem with it before, for them to now be unfollowing the boys on IG and stuff like that, that is purely performative and it's too late, you know. You've been hanging around with these guys, you've been associating with them, you've been filming with them, whatever. Why are you filming with people who are accused of sexual assault? That doesn't look good at all for your image, your public image. Like, why would you even want to be associated with that? I don't understand it myself. I really don't, you know, and I'm not laughing at it because it's not a funny subject at all. It's actually quite a traumatic subject. Sometimes if I'm like nervous or whatever, I might laugh nervously, but you know, this is a traumatic topic and I can't understand why you would knowingly leave videos up for your audience with people who are under this kind of scrutiny. I think that's wrong. That is like morally wrong to still be banking, making bank on these videos. That is wrong. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that bit right there because I honestly don't like talking about those kind of allegations and things like that. It does make me quite uncomfortable. So to be honest, I'd rather not get into the actual allegations themselves and all that mess. But we're going to move on to Manny MUA because Manny MUA is being called out on Reddit for doing a collaboration with Halsey. Now, if you don't know, Halsey recently came out with her own makeup line that's called About Face. And it actually looks really, really nice. The makeup, like the things that I saw that I was interested in were like the highlighter powder, the liquid eye paints and the lipsticks. They look really nice. The packaging all looks really cute, everything like that. But Manny is being called out on Reddit for doing an in-person collab during a pandemic. Again, you know, I mean, this is what... We've had Patrick Starr, we've had James Charles being called out, we've had Nikita Dragon being called out. We've had all these people being called out for doing collaborations during the pandemic. Manny MUA has actually been very, very vocal about taking social distancing very seriously. So the fact that Manny went on to do an in-person collab actually really surprises me. The fact that he went on to do this collab in person and didn't even put like a Perspex partition up or anything between them. That's a little bit, a mm, little bit funny because Manny has been very vocal about taking the pandemic seriously, taking social distancing seriously, wearing your masks, all of that stuff. Manny has been very vocal about that. So for him to come out with an in-person collab. Oh yeah, we were tested. But we all know the rapid fire tests aren't always that accurate. And the fact that he's done this in-person collab and then today Halsey has come out and announced that she's pregnant. I mean, congratulations to her being pregnant and stuff. But okay, let's endanger people's health, especially when they're pregnant. We're going to get into some of the comments from the Reddit thread right now. Hella Chill XO said, Yeah, I'm sure they did get tested and then met with their managers, assistants, employees before meeting with each other. I really don't understand why this collab had to be in person. I'm tired of influencers. They're all breaking lockdown rules for non-essential activities. Meanwhile, I haven't left my house unless I get groceries. And even then, I use no contact curbside pickup. Gerbil in Disguise, I love that name, Gerbil in Disguise said, don't worry guys, we got tested and we socially distanced. Yeah, like that, that's how they said it. Uh, I'm so over these entitled influencers, utilise your four grand laptops and zoom this shit, FFS. 
Someone else said, I'm really disappointed that these influencers insist on doing in-person collabs. That being said, I find it funny that James asked her to collab like five times during her live and she kept ignoring him. That was some shade. That was some shade. Because James Charles was in Halsey's live begging her to collab. He's been on Twitter trying to get in contact with her as well, trying to get her to collab with him. And she has just ignored him. But when Halsey did Manny's video, she was kind of gushing over Manny. She was fangirling over Manny and Manny was fanboying over her. It was quite sickening really, but it was a cute video. So I'll give him that. Back in the Reddit thread, someone else said, I get tested every day for work and we are still required to distance, wear masks and wear shields when working within six feet of each other. A test means you're negative only when you took the test. Also, false negatives are a thing. Someone else responded saying, plus rapid tests aren't 100% accurate. It doesn't matter if they got tested. It absolutely could be a false positive or a false negative. And this next comment made me laugh. It said, thank you for your sacrifice so that these influencers can fuck around more safely. Someone else chimed in with, the but we got tested thing is ridiculous. It's a damn pandemic. There's people dying, Kim. So if your plans are not essential, cancel them. Back in June, my GP got two negative tests while having a 40 temperature. For fuck's sake, he was out for months and still wheezes whenever he breathes. If he hadn't prescribed himself anticoagulants, he would have died, blah, blah, blah. Off topic. Another Reddit user wrote, This whole pandemic, civil rights movement and political shenanigans has really shown me the people I'm no longer giving my time and money to. It's disappointing to see the very large portion of people in my country who are just straight up selfish at best and damaging at worst. Static Start said, at this point, I give up on all these influencers and celebrities. I live in Southern California and haven't seen my family in like a year. They live across country and I don't care to fly with a one year old in a pandemic. And these people make so much money and have the fucking luxury of being able to work from home and not have to interact with people out of their bubble. It's exhausting. Social distancing isn't even hard, but hey, let's film a fucking video with Halsey. Another thing that I saw brought up in that same thread was that the only influencer people have seen taking, you know, collabs seriously during the pandemic is Nikki Tutorials because of course Nikki Tutorials has either done it with like a big Perspex partition in between her and her guests but most of them she's done online. So Nikki is really the only one who's actually done it the proper kind of social responsible way, whereas all the rest of them have used these rapid tests that aren't even really accurate. But they think that by saying, oh, we use the rapid tests, that that's going to cover their asses. Just going to grab some blush. So guys, let me know what you think about all the drama in this video. I'm sorry there's quite a lot in it with the Nikita and James and the Lopez brothers things and then the money and Halsey things but I just thought I'd do the two topics in this one video because honestly I really didn't want to do a whole entire video on the whole Lopez brothers thing because as I said that topic does make me quite uncomfortable so I prefer not to delve into like all the dark gory details in that topic but I do still think it's bad that Nikita and James have both continued to follow these guys and you know both still profit from these guys when this stuff is going on with them let me know your opinions and all your thoughts down below take care stay safe stay well and I'll see you guys on the next one bye guys